hello everyone in our previous video we have already seen what is scheduling what is scheduler how scheduling is done why scheduling is required and list out different scheduling algorithm so let us revise the list of different scheduling algorithms these are the different types of scheduling algorithms that is used by an operating system to select a new process in this video we will learn first algorithm that is first come first serve algorithm so let us start with first come first serve it is also known as fcfs f that is first c that is come f that is first s that is serve so first of all what is the selection criteria for selecting a new process the process the request first is served as first that means the process that arrives first is served first so we can also say that the process that arrives first will execute first means a process are served in the exact order of their arrival let us take example suppose we are having a ready queue with a capacity of four process to store within it this one is the head part and this one is the tail part of this queue means the process towards this head side is executed first means processor is allocated to the process that is immediately towards the head side now initially suppose first slot and second slot is already fill up with process p1 and p2 means p1 is in first slot p2 is in second slot third and fourth slots are empty so here once the cpu or processor becomes free that processor is allocated to these process that is lies in first slot that is process p1 now suppose a new process p3 arrives when these process p3 arrives this process first will check that in this ready queue the first slot is free or not right now first slot is slot is not free then after check next second slot is free or not again it's not free so we'll check for third again slot number 3 is free yeah it's free so what it will do this process p3 place itself into third slot so whenever a new process arrives the process will check each and every slot from head and move towards tail side so we'll check starts to check from this first slot to this last slot always your process starts to check from head side and move towards tail side and now decision mode what should be the decision mode that is non preemptive means when a process is selected it runs until it is blocked for an io or some other event or it is terminated means we can say that once a process starts to execute that process will not be stopped by any other process or even operating system until the process will voluntarily release that cpu either by completing its own execution or waiting for some event so it's known as non preemptive means there isn't any process or not even operating system can forcefully take processor from that process now implementation it's simply by using fifo that is first in first out now when cpu becomes free the process from the first position in the queue is selected to run means a processor is allocated to the first position in a queue now let's take example of first come first serve suppose we are having four process p0 to p3 with arrival time 0 1 3 5 respectively that is also known as t0 then after time required for the completion that is known as delta t or we can say cpu burst time that is 10 6 2 and 4 respectively means process p0 arrives at 0 second and it requires 10 second or 10 millisecond to execute or complete its execution now first of all we will draw grand chart for it now initially at 0 second process p0 arrives at 0 second and all this process arrives after 1 second so initially at 0 second there is only one process p0 arrives so 
initially so, sorry processor is allocated to p0 so first turn is process p0 now again decision mode is non preemptive means once this process p0 starts its execution this process will complete its execution then and after then this process will release that cpu means we cannot forcefully take away processor from this process until this process will complete its execution so it requires 10 milliseconds so up to 10 now at 10 second all these three process are there in queue but out of these three process this process p1 arrives first so p1 get chance to execute first so next one is p1 requires 6 second so up to 6 that is 16 then after remaining two process out of these two process p2 arrives first at 3 second so next one is process p2 requires 2 second to execute so 16 to 2 18 then after process p3 there is only one process remaining that is process p3 so next chance is process p3 it requires 4 millisecond to execute so it's 16 to 4 is 22 all the process are executed so our grand chart is over now find out finish time now whenever you are calculating or finding finish time always move from right hand side to left hand side so if he wants to find out the finish time that is t1 for process p0 then move from right hand side to left hand side first one is p3 then after p2 then after p1 then after p0 yeah p0 finish its execution at 10 milliseconds so here is 10 milliseconds then after if he wants to find a finish time for process p1 then again start from right hand side p3 p2 p1 finish at 16 so here is 16 for p2 p3 p2 finish at 18 so it's 18 same way for p3 it's a 22 next find out turnaround time the formula for turnaround time is t1 minus t0 that is finish time minus arrival time so if we want to find out turnaround time for process p0 then it is 10 minus 0 that is 10 for process p1 it's 16 minus 1 that is 15 for process p2 it's 18 minus 3 that is 15 for process p3 it's 22 minus 5 that is again 17 now next find out waiting time the formula for waiting time is t at that is turn around time minus delta t that is bus time so we have to just minus these minus this means turn around time minus bus time so if you want to find out waiting time for process p0 then it is 10 minus 10 that is 0 for process p1 it's 15 minus 6 that is 9 for process p2 it's 15 minus 2 that is 13 and for process p3 it's 17 minus 4 that is 13 so we have calculated each and everything means we have calculated finish time or find out finish time calculate turnaround time as well as calculate waiting time now if you wants to find out average turnaround time then it's the addition of turnaround time of each and every process divided by number of process so it should be 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 17 divided by number of process that is 4 1 2 3 4 4 so is equal to 14.25 millisecond same way if he wants to find out average waiting time then it should be 0 plus 9 plus 13 plus 13 divided by number of process that is 4 is equals to 8.75 millisecond now next move further what are the advantages of fcfs algorithm it's simple and fair means it is simple to understand as well as each and every process will get chance to execute fairly second one is easy to understand and it is easy to implement we can easily implement this algorithm by using fifo first in first out then after every process will get chance to run so no starvation doesn't occur means once a process arrives 
that process will get chance to execute so there isn't any possibility of deadlock next move further what are the disadvantages of first come first serve first one is it is not efficient because average waiting time is too high whenever a process that arrives to execute and it requires processor for a long time then in such cases the waiting time or we can say average waiting time is too high that is the main disadvantage of fcfs second one is convoy effect is possible means sometimes a process that requires less time to execute or we can say a process that requires a processor for very less time to execute but right now the process that is executed that requires a processor for a long time then in such cases the process that requires processor for a less time will not get chance to execute until the current running will process so in this case the convoy effect will be possible means all the small io bound process that wait for a long or a big cpu bound process to acquire a cpu third one is cpu utilization may be less efficient especially when the cpu bound process is running with a many io bound process that are the disadvantages of first come first serve thank you very much